Hey, Hollywood.com. <laughs> Can you tell me what brings you out here tonight? Well, I'm lucky enough to be involved in this film, which is an extraordinary tale about the, the champion, the champion of, the, of the human spirit. It sounds to me like people were really passionate working on this film. It sounded like more than a movie. How, how was that on set? Um, I think, no doubt, because it was based and is based on a true story, we were all, uh, our commitment was fueled by that awareness, um, whether that's a correct or incorrect way of of, of approaching a, a, a situation like this, it, it just happened. Everyone involved was, uh, went the extra mile, naturally, because of their love for this extraordinary tale and their support uh, of its messages. Well, what do you personally hope that people will take away from this film? Um, they're just gonna, the film will, will take them. The film will take them. And what was it like working with Denzel? What was his level of commitment? Extraordinary. He is without a doubt um, perhaps one of his generation's most incredible transformational actors. Um, he transformed physically, emotionally, mentally, uh, and spiritually in order to claim the essence of Reuben Hurricane Carter, who was present as he filmed. I my applaud each to that man. I love Denzel. To me, it sounds like this film's so much more special than most of what we see. Everyone really sounds like they feel a lot. What makes this film more than just a sports film? Well, this film, in a sense, reminds me of The Heat of the Night, which I did with Norman Jewison, where we dealt with a social problem, but we didn't deal with it first. We dealt with it in the entertaining, because if people come to a... Th it's very difficult to present a social position, because if it sounds like a lecture, the people just clam up. They're not interested. The trick is to entertain them first, and then let them think as they leave the theater way. They got a point there, you know. So I'm very happy to be with Norman, and I'm happy to be Mr. Washington, who's a splendid act. I'm sorry, this is Miss Benedict, otherwise I get killed, right? <laughs> right? So what was the experience like making this film, especially with everybody being so passionate about the story and it being a real life story with the people still alive? Well, everybody, you know, it's fun. It's interesting, when you give a human being a task to do and he realizes that the task is one of seriousness and demands dignity and respect, Everybody works harder because they want to contribute to that because if they pull it off good, they get dignity and they get respect. I don't mean it's selfish, that's just an unconscious thing. You feel like you're trying to do something good for a good reason. You don't feel like that in most movies. Pleasure to talk to you. How does it feel to be involved with a film like this, which seems like, in a sense, so much more than just a film? Um, it's a dream come true. I mean, you know, these kind of stories, you can't write these kind of stories. Um, uh, when I first heard about this movie, um, I got a phone call that they were casting me with Denzel and Norman Jewis and directing. And immediately, I, I didn't know anything about the story. And I submerged myself in this in the story and got passionate about it and felt like I, I need to do this film. You know, it's so hard to, to market movies that are important. A lot of people will say, oh, another boxing movie. Well, how would you respond to that? What would you want people to know about this film? This is not just a boxing movie. Um, a boxer, the boxing is what Ruben did. It's, it's what, it's the injustice that, that went on after um, that he was incarcerated. Um, he was wrong, he was wrongfully accused. This, this message, this film is about hope. It's about love, it's about faith. Did you work with the with the real people whose story you're telling? Um, How close? Lesra, um, Lesra, the character I played. Me and him are still good friends right now. Um, for me as an actor, it was, it was um, an advantage having him there um, to be able to talk to him and find out what he experienced and try to experience what he experienced. What does an actor like Denzel Washington bring to a film like this and no other actor? Um, Denzel's a master craftsman. He, this man is focused. He submerged himself in his role. He's been carrying this film around for, I believe, almost 10 years. So he knew all about the Reuben Carter story. And it took, it took a man of his caliber to be able to pull this off. What brings you out here tonight? What have you heard about this film? Well, um, I was just out in LA for a few days, so it's a perfect op opportunity to be here. And I haven't heard too much, but I, you know the story, so I can't wait to see the film. So do, do, it's an important film, it's an important story. Do you think film can, can change people, can really make a difference in the Oh, world? it can. I mean, it's like when you walk out of a, a movie theater and you just sit there like kind of with that daze, just thinking about everything. It definitely can change someone's emotions and feelings and opinions. Denzel Washington got a good star in this film. What's Denzel got, you think? 
I don't know. I think he's amazing, and, and I can't wait to go see it and see how he can actually portray this character because it, I think it's going to be a great emotional story. How you doing? Yeah. How do you want to be a movie star? Oh, I don't even see it myself as being a movie star. I'm just having fun right now, man. It's like riding a wave. I'm just going to ride it all the way in. Michael, what, what brings you out here tonight to this very important film? Denzel Washington. Chicago's proud of you, man. Thank you very much. <laughs> so, I really appreciate that. So you tell Chicago I said hello. You know what? It hasn't hit me yet. <laughs> I know I have to buy more and more clothes. I don't want you guys seeing me in the same thing. <laughs> hey. Denzel, I understand that, that you put a lot into getting this film made. Why was it important for you to get the story told? These, these are really unique individuals, great human beings, the Canadians and Lesra and John Otis and, and Ruben, and, and to be a part of bringing that to the screen, nothing could, could, could make me happier, you know. So we, we all worked hard. It wasn't just me. Everyone worked hard to bring the story to the screen. How did you have to prepare physically for this role? Well, I played a boxer, so I had to, you know, I, I wanted to live and eat and walk like a boxer, so I, I only had 15, 16 months to do it. But I trained very hard and uh, got in good shape. And what do you want people to it's, it's an important film. It sounds more than, like, more than just... It's an inspirational <laughs> film. You know, I, I don't want to scare people away by saying, oh, it's an important film. That sounds heavy. It's an uplifting film, you know. It's a very positive story and, a, and a, it's a wonderful, wonderful story. What do you want people to learn and take away from it? I don't want them to learn anything. Just come to, come to the movie and see it and they'll, they'll take away what, whatever's in their heart and whatever they respond to.